Okay, uh, coming into the 2016 paper, question number one. Distinguish between comparative advantage and absolute advantage. We did this, we did a much more advanced question with a numerical example also. Can you all give me the year? It's year 2013, where we distinguish between comparative and absolute. Ah, so 2013 levels. Question number eight, subsection one. Please go back and refer. I've given a detailed answer there. See, boring. No paper gets boring when you have the same thing again and again. Then, uh, uh, this one is a little bit of a new one. Now, this is why they have usually been asking now in the recent years. Every two, three years, a question like this comes. What are the uh, reasons for the slow growth in exports, challenges in exports? Now, here they have specifically said agricultural exports. Why do you think, Lamai? Just practically think and tell me. Now, what are our agricultural exports? Our agricultural exports have tea and stuff like that. Tea, rice, uh, those are stuff that we do. So, can you all give me some uh, reasons for the slow growth? Huh. Something recently. You can also say, Lamai, the uh, fertilizer ban. When Gota came, the fellow did a fertilizer ban and that became a problem. Uh, you can say, you know, the negative impacts, right? You can say, now, this is a new one, it won't be the answer. Negative impacts of the fertilizer ban. Of the fertilizer ban. Now, this was again, uh, they removed the ban and they again imported fertilizer. Negative impacts of the fertilizer ban that was imposed in, that was imposed in 2020. When Gota came, he all of a sudden uh, banned uh, chemical fertilizer and said to use uh, organic fertilizer, our crops and all, you know, there were problems. We talked about this in detail in some class, I remember. Then, what else? Uh, you can talk about uh, highly labor-intensive production techniques. Lamar. We are not using the latest machines. No. So, highly labor-intensive uh, production. Now, just think, Lamar, in our uh, tea industry. Now, how, do, how are we plucking tea? We are uh, coming and our tea pluckers are there. They are plucking and putting it to a bag. 100 years ago also, we were doing the same thing. Maybe, I don't, I'm not very uh, familiar with the tea industry. Maybe foreign countries now, to pluck that tea, maybe they would have come up with a new machine. Who knows? Like to pluck the uh, you know, pluck the bud leaf, no, the newly coming leaf. So maybe they have come up with some robotics or some machine uh, that will pluck those. You don't know. Maybe. But we are highly labor intensive production. So we are not utilizing, not utilizing latest technology. You can give that. So, because of this, Lamai, our productivity is very low. Our productivity is very low. That's another challenge. Anything else? Ah, you can also say, Lamai, employment. Difficulty, right? Difficulty in uh, recruiting, recruiting employees, especially for what, Lamai? For like the uh, tea industry and all, tea, paddy, right now. Who wants to work in a tea factory? Do you want to be a tea plucker? No. Earlier, when there were really poor people, am I? Yes. And I do you want to be a paddy farmer? No. So the fellows who are really, you know, have no other thing to do, their father is a farmer, those kind of fellows will go there. But it's very hard to recruit quality employment. No. People who are educated and all might not work there. Now, if I ask you, where do you want to work? You're not going to say, no, sir, I want to be a manager in a uh, paddy company. I want to be a manager in a tea company. Very rare, no? You always say, sir, I want to work this company, that company. That's what you will say. So, very hard to recruit quality labor. Okay. Uh, pandemic is okay, but how exact? Mm, you can talk about Lamai subsidies. No. You can talk about high cost of production, right? Our cost of production is high. You can connect that with point number uh, two, Lamai. If you take our specialty tea and all, our cost of production is high because we are using very labor-intensive production techniques. We are very slow and all. Our cost is high, Lamai. So you can talk about that. Mm, those are few reasons. Just check if there are anything other uh, past ones that they are giving in the past paper book 2016 world. Uh, in elastic supply, Yes, you can say that, right? So you can say, uh, yeah, you can say, okay, you can say this, okay? Uh, supply being highly inelastic, even though there is a uh, demand, Lamai, 
we are not able to uh, we are not able to let's say cater to that demand at time now if they, they, let's say there is a high demand for tea how to produce more tea? agricultural crop you can't and our uh, you can say this also my other remember i taught you all once our tea plants our tea you all know the tea uh, the plant there no our tea plants lama are more than 100 years old okay so they are highly dependent on fertilizer and all that again it increases cost and that's why lama when the fertilizer ban came our tea plants couldn't uh, give the output with the organic fertilizer they had to have chemicals and all of it then only that tea plants came because they are very old plants now they are around 100 years old so that also you all can put it somewhere okay declining global prices but you'll have to connect it a little i don't know if tea prices have been declining globally maybe right so you can talk about a decline in global prices and you can also talk about lamai uh, right competition that's another reason now if you take uh, even can even something like uh, tea lamai now you have uh, monada you have uh, china producing tea you have kenya producing tea so sri lanka is not the only tea producer now there are other countries who are producing that's another reason why our agricultural exports have fallen okay yes unfair political practices you can put that into the fertilizer bag connect that with that we are in particular good in industry we are talking about agricultural exports so in total now our main agriculture is uh, tea that's why we mainly focus on tea and there are other stuff also paddy uh, those stuff but mainly tea. okay you can give those reasons lamai for the slow growth of agricultural exports in sri lanka if they ask even at present Lamai, these are all there in the central bank report also for the kewal balanna then going into the next one mention the regional and bilateral free trade agreements of sri lanka at present can you quickly give me lamai what are the regional what are the bilateral bilateral means between two countries bilateral i told you all before also what are the bilateral we have the indo sri lanka sri lanka free trade agreement we have the pakistan sri lanka free trade agreement we have the singapore sri lanka singapore sri lanka free trade agreement these are our bilateral agreement regional we are mainly in two what are the two one is we are in safta right south asian free trade agreement and we are in afta asia pacific trade agreement uh beams they carry there i'm not sure i don't think that's a is that a trade agreement these are the mainly uh the two that we are here check okay these are the five that we have for oh, now singapore one is the recent one lamai maybe it might not be there in your answer uh this we got into in 2018 and also just uh, have in mind we are planning to get into trade agreements with thailand uh, most likely next year there might be one that might be concluded with thailand we are also having negotiations with countries like uh, china so there are small small things there was a question in one of the mock exams please go through that mm, yeah that is basically it. safe near that not hard right the so questions from question number 8 I think it's a question that might even be easier than question number six and seven, if you properly study and go. Now remember, Lamai. Again, I'm telling you all for part B. If you are really weak, if you don't have time, then target question number six and seven and go because only you have to study two units. Uh, that is the fastest and easiest way. But if you are someone who is, let's say, at least currently at the level of, let's say, fifty-five, sixty mark level, at least there. Okay, you go prepared for question six, seven, and eight. Don't take the risk of going prepared only for two. If you are currently, if you are weak, then I will say okay, just focus on two units. Do question six and uh, seven. That's fine. If you are currently at a level of let's say fifty five, sixty that level, go prepared for unit number seven, eight, nine, ten, where those four units can give you question number six, seven, and eight. So, etagotalamai. you can get a uh, current context from unit number 8 there will not be a lot 
they'll ask for uh, issues in export earnings and also tomorrow in the seminar also we'll uh, discuss a few uh, current context stuff in terms of reserves and exchange rate what happened those kind of stuff but again they will not ask much current context maximum four marks six marks there is no big current context that they can ask them. okay so do, that's why i'm saying it depends i can't really exactly say what they will ask on your a level on that day if you go prepared for six seven eight then whatever that is easy you can do maybe if some question there is so much of current context and you don't even know this can't take the risk now see you only go prepared for six and seven what if six and seven is very hard that's why go prepared for question number six seven and also eight see eight is not easy now we are doing the question we'll do the unit 10 questions also in the future just have that in mind okay so that's it with the 2016 paper